Hi, I'm Austin Bloom. Today we are talking about communication problems, or serial signal miswiring errors, as the troubleshooting guy would say. Today we are looking at an M-series unit. The majority of the time a communication problem will present itself on initial startup or after maintenance is done. This is typically due to the sequence in which the indoor and outdoor units are turned on. The control voltage originates at the outdoor unit, and when the outdoor unit is turned on before the indoor unit, the system will lock out on the serial signal fault. This is because the outdoor unit did not see the indoor unit at power up. You will only see this if there is an indoor disconnect installed. Because the outdoor unit originates the control voltage, it must see the indoor unit immediately when power is turned on. Even though you may go inside and turn the indoor disconnect on right away, the outdoor unit has already locked itself out on the communication error. The other common reason for a communication error is when the customer or technician turns the indoor disconnect to the off position. This will also break communications to the outdoor unit from the indoor unit, causing a communication error. The easy fix for these scenarios is to turn off the outdoor power for three to five minutes. And if there is an indoor disconnect, make sure that it is in the on position before reapplying power to the outdoor unit. This will reset the error code and allow the unit to resume normal operation. During installation, the wiring between the indoor and the outdoor unit is very critical. The indoor unit is getting its high voltage and control voltage from the outdoor unit. This is done through a 14-3 wire for M-series units and a 16-3 wire for P-series units that is ran from the outdoor S1, S2, and S3 terminals to the indoor S1, S2, S3 terminals. On a correctly operating unit, we can measure AC voltage at the outdoor unit between L1 and L2. S1 to S2 should also give us the same AC voltage which feeds the indoor unit. The control voltage is measured between S2 and S3 in DC voltage. If the outdoor and indoor units are operating properly, you should read a fluctuating DC voltage of between 10 to 24 volts DC. This is done when the indoor and outdoor control boards are properly communicating. It is important to note that S1, S2, and S3 each have 120 volts AC potential to ground as well. So if an indoor disconnect is installed, it needs to break all three wires for safety reasons. A non-fused pull disconnect or a three-pole switch is recommended when local codes require these indoor disconnects.